from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. How is this possible, man? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing whacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are. Together, again on the radio. <laughs> this is one of the great stories. One of the great stories. Dayline Erie, Pennsylvania. A Pennsylvania appeals court has backed an Erie car driver who gave his now ex-wife, get this, a phony engagement ring. The Superior Court panel says the cubic zirconia ring didn't invalidate the couple's prenuptial agreement. Good. That's what she tried to use to overthrow the prenuptial agreement. That decision earlier this month reverses an Erie County judge's ruling that the agreement was voided. Can you imagine? The judge would say because of the ring you got somebody that your prenup is is uh, invalid. Jesus. Susan Porico claimed Louis Porico defrauded her by saying the ring contained a diamond worth $21,000. But the new court ruling says Susan Porico had the responsibility to determine its value because the agreement listed it as her asset. Louis Porico maintains she knew the ring wasn't real. I don't know who's telling the truth here or not. All I'm going to say to you is this. There is no reason to go ring shopping with your girl. If you insist on getting engaged, don't be a boob. Don't be an idiot. Don't spend $21,000 on a ring. Surprise her with a ring made of cubic zirconia. Or that stuff they sell on like the Home Shopping Channel, Diamondique. Anything that looks like a diamond. Because the reality is, it shouldn't matter how much the diamond is worth. It shouldn't matter. You always have the option to upgrade her later. Like, let's say your marriage actually lasts. And you have a pang of regret for reasons I don't completely understand. So get her a new one later on. Get her a new diamond. Get her an actual diamond later on. But when you're getting engaged to somebody and she starts making noises about wanting a big engagement ring, why not get her CZ? Does it really matter if it's a diamond? Why does it matter? It's all about love, right? About love. Shouldn't matter. You don't lie. By the way, I would never lie. The way I would do it is, I would buy the ring on my own, and then I'd hand it to her, I'd say, will you marry me? And if she assumes it was a diamond, that whose fault is that? No law says you have to get her a diamond. And diamonds are usually just cashed in after the marriage is over, and she uses it to dress herself up, you know, get herself all tarted up to meet the next victim. The next guy who'll be spending money on her after you. Why do you want to fund that? I 
I mean, I think it's the perfect crime. Get her a CZ ring. And what is she doing going around getting that evaluated? What is she doing going around pricing how much it's worth? Why does it matter how much it's worth? If she goes out and finds out you got her a CZ ring, it's a good way to find out if you're marrying the wrong person. Because how much the ring is worth, if she's staying married to you forever, why does it matter how much the ring is worth? Why does it matter how much the diamond is worth? Why does it matter what the clarity of the diamond is? What uh, what grade of diamond it is? Why does it matter? You got to stay married forever, right? She doesn't need to, need to know how much it's worth. I was talking to somebody about my house the other day, and somebody said to me, "Oh, you know, with the real estate prices the way they're going, your house probably isn't worth what it was worth a couple of years ago." I said, "It doesn't matter." And the reason it doesn't matter is, I'm not selling it. I will not sell it. Uh, the next person to sell it will be my executor. <laughs> I'll be dead. That's when my house will be sold. I don't care how much my house is worth because I'm not selling it. So if she is going to the jeweler or to the insurance company and trying to get a diamond ring appraised, that means she doesn't think the two of you are going to stay married anyway. I think buying a cubic zirconia ring is a perfect way to find out if she's serious. It's also a way to find out whether it's all about love or whether it's about your money. No diamonds, just CZ. Makes sense, doesn't it? Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Tom, you are a god. You are my higher power, my friend. It's the Tom Likas Show. Yep. The Tom Likas Show. I want 800 tom and Now let's, let's pick up one of those golden oldies here. This is Mary on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I thought it was tuned in to 610, a reputable radio show. And uh, for some reason... It so was uh, you don't know how to read your radio dial is what you're telling us? My radio is normally set to that. I had my car cleaned today. Ah, so in other words, the people who clean your car have a different uh, different taste in radio stations. Make it whatever you want, Tom, because that's what you're spinning this whole thing to be. It's whatever you want to make. Well, yes, because it's called the which is, ex- which is extremely. It's called the bankrupt. it's called the it's called the Tom Likas Show, I and understand. so yes, it is whatever I make it, darling. That's what it is. Yes, yes, yes. But I, I think you are the the Salad piece of excuse of a human being. Well, good, I'm glad you feel that there, way. To be out there telling our youth, our young people of America, that they should be treating women like dirt. Yes, and uh, they should. I feel very sorry for you. Why? I'm a multi-millionaire, and I became rich telling people uh, to do these things. Shame on you! You shouldn't feel sorry for me. You should be uh, give me I a do. standing O. Become a self-made millionaire. Oh, well, I and work I'm too. Very proud of him. I work very hard. The children that we've raised. I work and the very hard. Children that they've given. Oh us. yes. Yes, and so what? What does that mean? It means that you're a low-life piece of crap. Oh have no, darling, life. no, darling, and you don't even have anything, uh, any ammunition to back you. You're going to hang up on me now, right? <laughs> Coward! You, you miserable old bag! You miserable, dried-out old bag! There's not enough KY jelly in the universe to have an evening of fun with you. Are you kidding me? You miserable old blue-haired bag. Or, as they love to call you in South Florida, Alta Cocker. That's what you are. That's right. Dean being from Philly, he knows what I'm talking about. Old, wrinkled lizard calling up here. Doesn't know the difference between 610 and 640. <laughs> By the way, she's calling from South Florida. The name of the station, darling, is Man Talk 640. Man Talk. I'm a man, and I'm talking to men. And it's too bad that your sons uh, didn't get to hear our show soon enough. Fortunately, we're here in time for your grandsons. So they won't make the same mistakes the rest of those pussy whipped guys are making. Just the ones in your family alone. 
Holy cow. Now, tune back over to 610 AM. Who does the morning show there? Dusty Cooch. Yes. <laughs> One of my favorites. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Ashley on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi. Okay, the whole fake ring thing, buying your chick the fake ring. I personally don't believe that's cool. Why not? Because if you love your chick that much to buy her a ring, why aren't you going to buy her something real? Why buy her something fake? Well, again, uh, there's nothing fake about it. It's a real ring. It's a real ring. There's nothing fake about it. Well, I personally think it should be a diamond, no cubic zirconia. Why? Set. Why? Because it's worth more. It shows her what but, she thinks she's worth. But, but so what are you, a whore? No. Well, then why does it matter how much money I spend on you? Your mouth, you watch your mouth. You can't stay, say that stuff on the air, and if you say it again, we're going to hang up on you. And by the way, that uh, another example of why you're not worth 10 cents. You're just a typical cheap whore. Uh, with a filthy mouth. That's wrong. It's right and true. No, it's not. Oh yes. No, it's not. You 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 have a mouth like a sailor, and you probably smell like a sailor. And on top of all of that, uh, the bottom line here, dear, is I thought it was supposed to be all about love. Yeah, but if you love her, you got to show her how much you love her, not buy her. Well, you don't have to show how much you love somebody by spending more money. Yeah. Well, then you're a whore. That's what a prostitute no. does. Oh, yes. No. Oh, yes. Well, I disagree. Well, you can disagree all you want, uh, but uh, one day you'll be getting one of those CZ rings, dear. Mm, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Trust me when I tell you, that's what's going to happen. Okay, well, when I get my when I get my diamond ring, I will call you and tell yeah. you that I got my diamond ring. And it's well, only hot, only really hot chicks get diamonds, and I don't even recommend that they get diamonds. Uh, but uh, really, uh, you'll probably be getting one of those diamond crumbs you get at the mall with a seventy-two month payment plan. They with that big claw clutching onto a little diamond crumb. Screw you, Tom. Make an appointment here. <laughs> You're so angry. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Good. This is a perfect subject. Before I met my wife, she had a ring that she wanted. She showed me a picture of it. I had a buddy of mine who was a designer. Designed the ring itself was made out of platinum. But I didn't put a real diamond in. Ended up playing a cubic zirconian because I couldn't afford it at the time. Two years after we were married, my wife went to get the ring cleaned, and the guy came up to her and said, you know, this isn't a real diamond. It blew her away. She came home, and she was embarrassed that she even was wearing this ring. I said, well, I couldn't afford it at the time. So she said, well... It's important to me. I say, if it's important to you, take your own money and you buy yourself your own diamond. And she did just that. She put her, her own money, which she had before we even knew each other, and she used that to put a diamond in it. And we're still married. Hey, that worked out perfectly for you. It did. It worked out really well. So your advice is brilliant. If it's going to work out and she's not satisfied with the cubic zirconium, but she wants you to finance it, it's not going to work, and you should kick that person right out the door. That's how I feel. So I am so glad you had that subject on. I had to laugh with the last lady that was on uh, because it's typical. Most women want expensive stuff. But you see, now we are smoking out all the whores. You see, that's what we were talking to, a whore. Exactly, exactly. So if you want a true relationship that's going to last and it revolves around money, Money won't make relationships last. So I really appreciate the subject, Tom, and uh, take me out with the long hit. Here you go, Mike. <coughs> it's 1-800-5800-TOM. Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Whoop. Aaron disappeared at the last minute. Nikki on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What? Oh, we got a problem here with the phones? Line one wouldn't hang up. Okay. Let's try Nikki again. Nikki. Yo. We're here. Yay, I got through. Yay. I just, I just wanted to stick up for you, Tom, because I'm a chick who would gladly accept a cubic zirconia ring. Tell me why. Well, I've been with my boyfriend for two years, and he absolutely rules. We just get along. We enjoy spending our days together. Someday we're going to get hitched, but... um. In the meantime, I've always told him he could just get me a 25-cent plastic ring out of one of those machines, you know? I really don't give a damn about what the material is on my finger. Love I mean, the that. Fact, the fact that you got a, that you have found someone you actually like to spend that much time with, that's pretty sweet in itself, you know? Well, you know, there's a lot of women going around uh, tittering about having uh, starter husbands. Oh, he's my starter husband. Well, I think that deserves a starter ring. <laughs> I guess, but, the, I mean, i got to agree with you. They're whores. My hey. Sorry, I, I, These things all sound... Yeah. I don't give a poo-poo. And these people, they know exactly what they're doing because they say it, and then they immediately follow it with, oh, I'm so sorry, but they knew they were going to do it in the first place. I know. Why do you do that? You know what? I think I just... People forget they're on the radio. They no, no, but you didn't forget. Home. You knew you were on the... It's like Jane Fonda didn't forget she was on the Today Show when she said the C word a couple of weeks ago. She didn't. You, your mouth just started flying. She looked right into the camera and said that word. She said it right... There was no doubt. It did not slip out. She planned it. She had a punchline. <gasps> oh, I didn't plan that. Mm-hmm. I swear, Tom. Mm-hmm. I just want to warn everybody who, who curses, okay? You might have made some brilliant comment. When you curse, we have to dump the last several seconds of everything you said and I said. So if you said something brilliant, it got cut out in the process of cutting out your curse word. Oh, bummer. If you yeah, don't I, want your I material getting cut out, you have to not curse. I sit here for four hours every day. I don't curse. I screwed up, man. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> Well, hey, thanks for taking my call, and can you blow me up? Yes, dear, I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, Aaron. I am so glad that you're talking about the subject today because this is something I think all the time. And as I told Dino... I'm repulsed by women that put so much emphasis on the size and dollar amount of the ring. I feel bad for guy, guy friends of mine that go out and buy this big old ring, and I know the relationship is likely not going to last. It's embarrassing as a woman, and I really don't understand because when I got engaged, I didn't expect anything. I would have been happy with the band. And women that think that this has anything to do with how much somebody loves you or how much somebody feels that you're valuable or whatever your value or worth is, I, I just think that is ridiculous. If your relationship is based on the dollar amount of a ring, and the woman that, the man that called and said that his wife wore the ring for two years and then was upset when she found out it was a cubic zirconium, if she wore it for two years and didn't know, then how would she be offended by it? That's the thing that I don't understand is she would wear it for two years and have no clue. You know, and, yeah. and I, I don't know. It just as a woman, I'm I'm embarrassed and appalled that women are like this. It's embarrassing, and I think, what kind of pampered princess would expect to get some three carat diamond ring that's way beyond the means of what her fiance can afford because she wants to show it off? And really, I don't even think it has anything to do with the guy. It's these dumb girls who just want to show off to other dumb girls. Because they obviously feel insecure, and they don't feel secure about themselves or their relationships. Yeah, well, I, that partly that's true. I wonder how many women put guys in this forever debt. They can't get a down payment to buy a house. They can't buy a decent car. Oh, yeah. I hear, I hear stories of women whose parents, you know, I didn't have anyone pay for my wedding, but... Women whose parents offer to pay for a wedding or pay for a down payment on the house. And more often than not, they choose the stupid wedding. And thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. 
it, it makes absolutely no sense to me. It is the most irrational decision. I can't, I, I can't even imagine that someone with half a brain would make a decision to do that. You know, I just feel bad. I feel bad for the guys. I really do. I feel bad more for the guys. I feel like they're suckers, you know, like it must be really good or something because it makes no sense to me how they can rationalize buying something like that. Yeah. Well, for the most part, even though I've been married four times, uh, I've only done it once or twice. The rest of the time, no, I have not. Yeah, I, I say kudos to you. Like, to any guy listening, get her a cubic zirconium. If she's so stupid that she cares about how much it's going to cost, she's probably too stupid to figure out it's not real. If she, she cares enough to go get it uh, evaluated at the jewelry store, she's not the woman for me oh, anyway. Oh, you turn around. <laughs> you need to make a better decision. There are good women out there. And just because someone looks good, looks fade, and, you know, I mean... Find a good girl that's going to not care about that kind of stuff because they're out there. And I and a lot of times the girls that I see some of my guy friends getting engaged to, that's how they are. They just, they're cute and they want BMWs and they want big houses on the golf course. And the guy works his hiney off to try and, like, pay for all this stuff and she ends up cheating on him. Or, you know, it's just not, it's not. Yeah, the with a golf instructor. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tom, for, for. Just talking about this subject because I agree with so much of what you say and that old woman from South Florida, like, I was cracking up. She, she seriously, women need to listen to you. I tell my friends, listen to him because you give good advice. And the way I see it is if a girl knows the game, then she can play it just the same. So take me out. Old school. Here you go, dear. 1-800-529-5555. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Darla, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Great. <laughs> I was just calling in to let you know we usually listen to your show quite often when we're you know in listening range, um, but today your show kind of kind of sucks. My show sucks. Tell us why. Well, because I mean I feel like you're downgrading women all the way around. How so? And that's not right. Uh, no, no, I said, how so? But that's not, yeah, it is. In so. which way? No, no, in which way? Because, I mean, I, you're, you're like calling us whores. And I call, no, I like call the no, ones who are whores. No good. I call the ones who are whores. Whores. Are you a whore? No, I'm not. All right. Well, then it doesn't apply to you. Why are you offended? Then why don't you give us a little bit of credit? Because, For what? You know, it, is, it is the women that bear the children. That so what? On the name. It, it also is the, so what? the women that does so the what? laundry, does the cleaning, that also works the Oh, please. What, the darling, in what country is that? I do it every day. I don't, we don't care what you do. Myself. Your average American woman doesn't do anything around the house except complain. But you know what? You shouldn't put every woman in that category. I didn't. I said your average everyday American woman. That's right. I guess that makes the difference. Right. So even if you're an exception to the rule, so what? Most women are not like you. Well, that is correct. But so, still, so, so I since mean, they're not, not there since they're not, we have a right to our opinion about the rest of them. What about the? What about some of the no good men? Why don't you ever talk about? The because men? I don't date men. You see, you want to hear about no good men, you can turn on Oprah, you can turn on uh, Montel, you can turn on Maury Povich, you can turn on any day touch with Dr. Phil. They're all beating the drum about how men are pigs, men are whores, men are dogs, men are, don't know how to take care of their children, men are drunks, men are drug addicts. Uh, turn on the daytime TV shows, there's plenty of shows for you. Yeah, but there is a lot of... There is a lot of this is like a show agree, from the perspective but... of a male, and not a pussy whip male like Dr. Phil, a real man. Yeah, but I, you know what? I have one thing that I want to say. I hope you don't die in a lonely old man. Darling, I am not lonely in the least. Okay, I'm just hoping that that doesn't No, 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 me. darling, don't be, don't be that way with me, because you see, the fact is that you are hoping I'll die a lonely old man. That's what you're trying to say. No, I'm not. No, yes, I'm not. you are. <laughs> yes, you are. You don't know what I'm thinking. Yeah, but I, I know exactly that, what I you're hope, thinking. I hope you the best in your life. You hope me the best? Yes, I do. Mm, very nice. Well, I hope me the best, too. Me Thank love you, you long time. <laughs> Thank you for taking my call. All right. Jesus Christ. 1-800-5800-TOM. 
is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Danielle on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How are you? Doing great. Good. Um, I just have to call in and comment, um, comment on this subject because um, I feel like it's the opposite. I feel like the more expensive the ring is, it's almost like the worse the relationship is. It's almost like compensating for something that's not there. Um, you know, I grew up with two parents who were very happily married. My mother did not have an engagement ring, and she just had a regular gold band around her finger, and she was perfectly happy with that. Um, my aunt, who's married to um, my mother's brother, same thing. She has, she wears a silver ring, and they're completely in love. And, um, you know, if I am craving that diamond that when it comes time for me to get married or something, then I'll take it out of my pocket and buy it myself, and I'll be proud to say that, too. Perfect. You know, I mean, if my husband can buy me when it comes that time, whatever he wants to. Silver gold, like the last one of the callers said from the 25 cent machine, I don't think it should matter. And I think it's embarrassing when women kind of put that price on their relationship. But you, you, you have heard them this hour. Yeah, definitely. I think that um, you're kind of setting yourself up to fail because, you know, you're taking that ring and you're, you know, it's obviously there's something lacking if you need that money in the relationship. No doubt about it, dear. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Kim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Kim. How are you? Great. Well, I was just calling to say, you know, I, I you rock and that you're completely right on the ring situation. My fiancé bought me, was going out to buy me this really fancy ring because, you know, everybody has to have one, and, and I explained to him that it's not that important to me. He got me a beautiful, beautiful setting made, and we had a lab-created diamond put in it, and I'm totally okay with that, and nobody knows any different. How would anybody know any different? I mean, a diamond is I mean, it, it's compressed carbon. That's what it is. We're, t we're taking the money and spending it on a great honeymoon, and, and, and that's on him because he said, you know what? You saved me all this money. Let's go on this amazing honeymoon, something we can do together and enjoy our time. Sounds good to me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the call, Kim. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. My curriculum vitae is as follows. I'm a cunning linguist and a master debater. I'm also, uh, I'm an amateur gynecologist. I've got Russian hands and Roman fingers. And on top of that, I also am the one and only state board certified interpreter who can interpret women into English. Oh, okay. It's the Tom Likas Show. Now, from Hollywood, the Tom Likas Show and 1-800-5800-TOM. We started off this hour. Talking about the car dealer in Erie, Pennsylvania, who won in a Pennsylvania appeals court. His ex-wife uh, said their prenup was not valid because he'd given her a phony engagement ring with cubic zirconia. Well, the Superior Court backed him. Isn't that great? 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Lolly. You're on the Tom Likas show. Yes. Um, I just basically have a comment as far as you degrading. That so when you say, let me just let me just get girl. this straight. When you when you say you just basically have a comment, let me translate for the audience. I just basically have a comment means she's going to bark a negative or nasty comment into the telephone. And because she's a woman and has no ability to reason or use logic, she will run from the phone, hang up immediately without in any way being challenged or getting into any kind of a conversation about the hateful thing she's about to bark into the phone. Wouldn't that be about right, Lolly? You are absolutely wrong. All I am saying is that for you to degrade and belittle that 18, 19-year-old poor girl because she did not have the intellect to defend herself is ridiculous. I, uh, that, anyone who does that, that, anyone who doesn't have the intellect to defend themselves shouldn't be calling in. If you call this number, you are fair game. If you don't like it, don't call. 
But as far as you saying that she had a dirty mouth, I think that she did have a dirty mouth. Biggest dirty mouth. You oh no! Calling women prostitutes, whores. There's dirty nothing dirty women. about it. And I understand it's that all there legal. are a lot of women out there that do it's carry all themselves legal. in that demeanor, and I will not argue that. There you go. And I do listen to you on a daily. That's basis, good. But that really did upset me because no, I'm what a else poor is girl. It? It's like you're the one with your dirty mouth. You're calling women no. nagging bitches. All you But they are nagging girl. bitches. Have you heard yourself nagging? The truth is a defense. Who am I? Nagging. I don't nag anybody. You know, everybody who's uh, who, who talks to me calls in and volunteers for this conversation. Uh, nobody is uh, married to me or forced to listen to it. But you're absolutely right. And Just like you, you, you volunteered. You signed up for this assignment. I like to stay in tune with the people that I live with and all the people that listen to you. That's I'm, great. I, I listen to you. I do like I said, because I like to listen to the individual. Very nice. And it's funny. It's humorous. That's it great. Home. Not a big deal. But just a lot of the things that you do say are just hateful, not hurtful, because I can... How are they hateful, dear? What you say In what, what way are they hateful? You know? In what way are they hateful? Well, just the way they... I mean, like, I, I don't hate to reiterate it, but women are always calling... You don't hate to reiterate it? Well, if you don't hate to reiterate it, then go ahead and reiterate it. say the good women. You know, there's a lot of good women out there. Well, when they call in, we'll make a point We'll make a point of trumpeting that, but they're not calling in, dear. Excuse me? I said... <laughs> I didn't hang up on you, sweetheart. That's how little you listen. And you are typical. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom. Yes. Hey, Tom. How you doing, brother? Great. All right. You know, it's, it's kind of crazy, man, even to go along with these women that want the big rings and whatnot. You know, when you get with them, you know, the apartment you live in is fine. The car you drive is fine. But you get married, you got to get an Escalade. you got to have a four-bedroom, three-bathroom, master suite upstairs, two-story house. It, it, it never stops, man. Right. It never stops. Man. I know. It, Why do guys put up with that? We don't. The smart ones don't. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Mike. All right, brother, blow me up. Here you go, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing today, Tom? Doing okay. Hey, moved to Sacramento. Only get to hear you when I come into town and driving through. I thought I'd call and make a comment. Uh, you got to be careful because some of the women only get evaluations or get their ring uh, evaluated because of insurance reasons. So what happens is you go to insure all your stuff and they take it in to be evaluated on how much it's worth and they find out that way. Yeah, but the thing is, you don't let your wife handle any of the financial issues in your in your life. <laughs> all right, fair enough, fair enough. I was just trying to give a shout out to make sure people realize that. I, I tell I the guys, I never let your wife have control of the money. Never let her have control of the money. Never. Uh, Fair enough. I just tell. I told my woman if she could tell the difference between a cubic and the real thing, I'll buy her the real thing, and she couldn't tell. Case closed. <laughs> Take me out with the ball, great man. Here you go. No cost. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Renee on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing great. Good, man. You know, that woman who just called in saying that you degraded that 19-year-old, you know, the 19-year-old, like you said, she's old enough to call in on the show. She better be ready for what's going to come after her. And you know what? Maybe she'll learn something. Before By the way, she she's not 19. She was 60. <laughs> then what is she calling for? That's not even anywhere near her future. Is Whoever she... calls in, this is what you can expect. If you don't like it, don't call in. Absolutely. And any woman who wants to put a price on marriage or on anything, you know, by wanting a diamond ring, it's a stupid ring that you might lose that it has no significance. It's a it's a symbol or a token, whatever it may be, and to put a price on it is nonsense. And if you love somebody, why would you even put them through anything like that? You know, to run them ragged, I, I'll feed you more food in your lifetime than what one of those rings is going to cost. So for any woman to go and bitch and complain about things that I'm going to give them, it's not working with me, and I would kick her to the curb if she were to complain about anything that I got her. She's just ungrateful. Sounds good to me, Renee. You know, so 
That's all I want to say. Keep up the good work, Tom, and thanks a lot, dude. Thank you. I really appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Is that, that's our telephone number. Tasha, I'm the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Long Hi. time our first time uh, caller. I just wanted to uh, say a lot of uh, women nowadays, they put a price on basically everything. And what needs to be is uh, the thought, it's the thought that counts. The lady who, the well, the child who called in, where's her parents, first of all, who called in, uh, you told her right. I mean, she, look how she's being raised right now, uh, pricing uh, her relationships are soon become relationships it's on diamonds. It's not going to work. But uh, I just wanted to comment on thoughts that count. Once a relationship is based on price, uh, it's, it's, it's already doomed from the beginning. Yeah, well, I, I think these are ways guys could find out whether they're marrying a whore or they're and marrying... And you're right. And I didn't find that defensive or anything. And that's what whores do. They put a price on uh, uh, materialistic things. They put a price on it. And that, I agree with you totally 100%. Absolutely. Tasha, thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Diana on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom Likas. How are you? Great. I just wanted to say a comment on the guy that called earlier today saying that you know, if you date a girl and they live in an apartment and then after you marry her and they want the four-bedroom house and, you know, she's actually asking for an expensive car, my thing is, you know, after certain years of being with the person, I mean, wouldn't you want to be, have ambitions and have goals on both sides? My goal would not be to spend money on you. No, not on myself, but I guess as a couple, you know, um, traveling and, you know, investments or what have you. Women but... never, in, never, and in my experience, nag a guy to invest money. They nag guys to spend money, buy a better car, buy a better house, spend money on a swimming pool or a fence or more children than you could afford. Uh, there's not a lot of women going, honey, we need more mutual funds. I, I guess it just depends on the individual because... Now, I, let me tell you, married and divorced four times. All the relationships as well. Date only women, not men. <laughs> and I'm telling you, what women nag about is spending money on depreciating assets. Mm -hmm. Like cars. Well, the last, you know the last girlfriend... Not like we're not talking... This is not the Diana show. We're talking about women in general. <laughs> I, I, you know, I was just, I was just thinking that, you know, if I had a car, then I would like that other person also to drive a car as well. You know, not, you know, if, you know, I'm just saying because of that comment that he said that, you know, you date a girl with an apartment and then after a while, you know, she wants a four bedroom house. It's like if you're living with the person for so long, you know, if you have ambitions to possibly move to a bigger space and, you know, and, you know, some men are also the same. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm single and I was married before and I'm telling you right now that some men are the same way. You know, is it a keeper? No, she's not a keeper. You know? Right, but buying you a four-bedroom house. Uh, for example, when I've been married, you're going to hate this. I've been married and I've owned a house, and you know what? The house was in my name only. Well, you should have signed a prenup. No, I did sign a prenup. That's what I'm saying. It was in my name, my name only. Oh, well, then that's great. You know, but, well, I mean, it, it's not yeah, but, but the women I was with, they said, why is it my name on the deed? Why is it my name on there? Well, then she should get a second job and buy herself a house. Right, because uh, if we break up, I'm not moving out of my house. Right. You're moving out of my house. Of course. I would do the same thing. Good. But what I was saying is that that guy just, you know, if I live in a tiny one bedroom and I'm a single person, you know, and then, you know, he moves in and he brings his stuff over and then after a couple of years, you know, it's just a small place, you know. Well, then that, that, that makes my point that I usually make, which is that, uh, 
men and women should live in their own places. Live in your own place, buy yourself a four-bedroom house. If he wants to live in a one-bedroom apartment or a studio, that's his problem now, isn't it? The Tom Likas Show.